If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. Sometimes you have to make inventory adjustments so the amount shown in Sage 50 agrees with your physical count. To enter an inventory adjustment in Sage 50 Accounting, select Tasks, Inventory Adjustments from the menu bar. You can increase or decrease inventory using the same window. Select the Inventory Item ID of the item to adjust from the Item ID field. Then enter a reference for the adjustment into the Reference field. The Name and GL Source Account fields should be filled in with the information associated with the selected item. Then enter the date of the adjustment into the Date field. If the adjustment is related to a specific job, you can select the associated job from the Job dropdown. To record an increase to the quantity on hand of the selected item, enter a positive number into the Adjust Quantity By field. To record a decrease to the quantity on hand of the selected item, enter a negative number into the Adjust Quantity By field. Inventory adjustment amounts affect the account displayed in the GL Source Account field. You can change the account shown if required. If the adjustment you are making is an increase, you can enter the cost of the item into the Unit Cost field. Then enter the reason for the adjustment into the Reason to Adjust field. To enter serial numbers for adjustments made to either serialized stock or serialized assemblies, click the Serial Number button in the toolbar at the top of the window. If entering an increase to the quantity on hand, then the Serial Number Entry dialog box appears and lets you enter the serial numbers of the items that have increased in quantity on hand. If entering a decrease to the quantity on hand, the Serial Number Selection dialog box appears instead and lets you select the serial numbers of the inventory items that have decreased the quantity on hand. After entering the associated serial numbers, then click the OK button in either dialog box to return to the Inventory Adjustments window. When finished entering the adjustment information, then click the Save button in the toolbar at the top of the window to save the adjustment. You can then click the Close button in the toolbar to close the window. Remember to click the Subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.